Uh -huh. So the two go right next to each other. Supposed to be washer between them also, which I don't see. Let's put good. Let's get a washer. I don't have one. Yeah, that is a bold lie. I see eight thousand washers right there. Not the one you need. Well, let's get one. The, the one I need, please. God damn it! There you go. <sighs> All right, now spacer. should we make sure that it's balanced? There's a spacer no in there. That's a washer. That looks like a washer. <laughs> or is that a spacer? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's a washer that was on the opposite side. So now it's now it's on. The <laughs> it's on what? It's on the inside and not in the middle, in between them. Kind of hurt my foot, but I got the thing out. Yeah. There's your washer. Yeah, now we got a bent washer. It's all right. Yeah, I mean it's. It's a bent arm, so we don't care. Jeez. Yeah. It'd be nice to have a washer in between if they we're supposed to have a washer in between there, Tetro. You know what that washer does? What? Jack shit. It right there. It makes the bearing not hit on the outside, but on the inside where it's supposed to. Yeah. Hit it with that hammer. I'm gonna hit it with a hammer again. Should I use the steel side or the soft side? Mm -hmm. Cool. Look at that. Just... Comes right out again. Your your hub is loose. We already knew that. Your bearings are gonna keep falling out because they're loose. All right. Yeah, you fix that. What? You get a new one of these? Well, a new hub would help, but you're not gonna do that. How much are they? Do you have a chrome one? So, Do you have a chrome one? I've got a whole wheel over there, but not this size. No. I, got, I got some blood I can put on there, though. That'll help it right out. See, if you put some Loctite on here, it would do wonders for it. Yeah, let's do it. So wash it uh, I'm going to go get that Loctite. Blue or red? Bring my steel hammer over here, too. Blue or red? Red. It doesn't burn now. What? What number? Red, red, red. Thread locker. Bring my hammer over here too. Which one? Oh, this guy? Mm, mm, that stinks. Here you go. My small hammer, not a big hammer. You said steel hammer. Yeah, that stings when you suck on them. It's because you got acid mm, spit. That stings. What's this? Thread and locker. Yeah. Alright, so we don't want this one. We want this one? Steel. Weird, I gave you a ball peen. You did. It was almost the same size, too. They're almost identical yep. in size. Almost. Why does that sting when you suck on it? I don't know, man. It's got fresh blood coming out of it now, too. Can I get workman's comp? Probably. So, doing that allows to set the uh, Loctite in there. It's called a prick punch. You know what you call a prick punch? Cause some prick is punching on it. Did I do that right? I have no idea. This is some hot rod shit. I love it. Well, we'll make it work. Oh, right in my eye. <laughs> Put it on your uh, on that wound. So you brought. I already got red on my wound. Yeah, the lock tied it in. Did you bring me the empty bottle? Probably. Oh, oh, there it is. You got it? Oh, that looks like real blood. Look at that. You just dab it in there? Dab, dab, dab it. Yeah, that was the empty one. Mm, oop. Well, that was oop, oop. It's like coming out of my finger. Plenty of lube in there. There you go. Lube that'll lock up. Now, we don't have to worry about that like going into the sealed bearing at all. I didn't put it in the sealed bearing. Like dripping down or anything? Why would it go in the sealed bearing? I don't know.
tighter or not. Do you notice that? Yep. How'd that happen? And prick punches. That prick punched that sucker. Okay. And we're good and tight. Gonna fall out now. Now should we uh should we what? With that weight that was on there, should we check to see if this one needs it? Where's your axle? You have one here. Where's your axle at? My axle's at home. How am I gonna balance with it? You have an axle here. Asshole here, but what's that? Bring your axle with you? Nope. How are you the I don't know. Because you have probably a thousand axles here, Tatro. I got a prick punch here. <laughs> Might be a center punch too. He's still sucking on that thing. Blood right? sucker. Practicing. I thought you used a solvent tank for that. That's disinfectant. That's serious disinfectant. I'm just using cheap disinfectant. If Scuba was here, I'd have him eat suck on it too. That'd be even better. Okay, where's your Sportster axle? This looks like it almost is a Sportster axle, but not quite. It looks too big. You didn't bring your Sportster axle with you. Yeah, well, I didn't know that I needed to, so. Balance it. Yeah, that must be a sports truck. So. It looks big though. Yeah. Look at these cool old tires. Those are even older. Those are from the 50s. Those are rad. Those are dirt tires. New old stock. Those are 419 dirt track tires. Don't kill people because they're going to want to buy them. Okay, if I get a big enough hammer, will that go in there? Yup. I sense uh, there's some corrosion on there. I'm betting this is not a sports axle. That's why it looks too big. So we a sports axle. Sports axle. Sports rear axle. Whoa. You think I'd have a sports rear axle in this building, don't you? Now that looks like a Forster rear axle, except it's not. It's a big twin axle. It's disguised as a Forster axle. Hard to believe I don't have a Forster axle. In this yeah, this is really mind blowing, actually. There you go. That looks like one. You think this might be the one? Yeah. I don't know. Do you have a sports store around here to check it on? No. That's definitely not one. You know you tell a sports store from Big Twin Axle? The, um, the, these lugs right there, right? Big Twin Axles have shoulders on them. Yep. And they're stepped. Sportsters are straight all the way through because they're ball bearing. Mm. Big twin axles are going to star hubs, so they have steps on them. Gotcha. And they have the big one out here too, usually in their stock original ones. So these two are Sportster. All right, let's give it a shot. And this one looks like it's the cleanest of the two, so it's probably the better one to use. Awesome. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, it doesn't fit. There you go. Got to grease it up. Take fit. That's what they make hammers for. Yep. Now where do we go? I need my uh, tire balancing tools. Oh yeah. Tire balancing tool. Over here. In my way. No, it's over here. Look too many in my toolbox. Got 
How many shirt boxes are in my way? Yeah. Border online. Chacho. Turn in my box. Look at that. Oh no. It's out of order. Can't just buy those boxes anywhere. You gotta buy a bunch of shirts to get them. Oh, you, you kicked my box. Don't get anyone Gildan box there. You know, I bought any Gildan shirts, so. Look, it almost fits. It's knocking on that uh, tie down. Out of the way. So this finds this the wiggling finds the uh, heavy part. There's bearing drag, so the wiggling overcomes the bearing drag. It's a little close under here in the stool too. Yeah. Because somebody had kicked it over far enough. Then. So the wiggle. Allows it to center itself, and then you put the weight on the other side. It appears the heavy spot is on the bottom for some reason. Weird. I don't know why it does that. Gravity is pretty cool. You go like this. And you see if it moves. You do 90 degrees, right? Or. Mm-hmm. That's the weight we had before. Yep. So that's too heavy? Yeah. Be pretty damn close. That's awesome. So turn 180. Check it again. Wiggly wiggles. All right. So we still got a heavy spot. I don't like that. Shiny spoke keeps coming up. Where it was before, right? I don't know, maybe. Let's play back the video. This is too heavy. Get the lead out. So you need a lighter one than that. How heavy do you want it? I don't know, you're the wizard. Okay, the shirts and the to do. What do you think we're gonna need? Something light. Skinny guy. I think so. So what's that one? That is quantity four, one quarter. Somebody mixed these up. See the big one mixed in the hole. Hmm. I wonder who that was. <laughs> <laughs> Done 
couple of weeks. Which version do I? I want the tall skinny guy. Tall and skinny? Yeah. I bet you it's a different size than a nipple hole. Look interesting. Or wait. How come that went all the way to the bottom? Yeah, barely moved. Appears to be the guy. Now you gotta hit it up though. Appears to be a problem getting in there. Get a fork. Breaking it. Forked it. Gonna go to the other side. Not bad. Yeah. There we go. Right on the money. I'll let you keep my old weight because uh, I'm so generous. It's be pretty close. Yeah, it's awesome. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Look at this nasty old weight for. And you're gonna put it right back in that little box. Just sell it, polish it up. That was a new way. How's your finger doing? Poor little boo boos. Boo boos. No finger right there. I like said I get injured every time I work on your bike. We always get, I always get hurt every time I work on my bike. I always get hurt on my bike in general. That's why it's the booby trap. Doesn't suck as, doesn't sting as much now. Well, that's good. Disinfecting. I got a light in finger now. <laughs> Special lightweight version. Yep. This appears to be like a half ouncer. Now watch him put it back in the bag, and he's gonna sell it to somebody. <laughs> man. Try and put it over here in a used bag. Looks like that one. There you go. There it is. That's where it lives now. Oh, not bad. Bad. There you go. Sweet. And that's how you do a wheel. Oh, it's not balanced. What's going on? That thing was turning like crazy. What happened? It was. I don't know. Jeez. Damn gravity moved. Yep. Till next time.